Hey everybody, uh, I want to give you an update on where I am with this transmitter. Uh, you saw my episode yesterday where I'm troubleshooting some pretty significant problems. And, um, and I made a few revelations, so I just want to give you a quick update on where we are there. So, um, first we're going to start with this meter right here. Okay? And we're showing 117 volts DC. And where I'm connected is to the chassis and to the B- minus rail. Okay? Now, some of you had some suggestions, like check the death cap, which is right there. And I pulled the death cap, and the problem still exists. So I know that's not the problem. The cap is good. Um, I've rewired this entire 6A7 section, and I still have that problem. Well, I've made a discovery of what that issue is. And let, me, uh, let me set up the shot, and then I'll show you. And by the way, before I do that, what you're looking at here is the center tap of L1, which is right here. Here's L1, center tap, okay, and we're getting 188 volts. If I take the probe from the center tap and move it to the, uh, to the 33 microfarad cap, which is right here, 185 volts. So that part's working, and I'll explain what that issue was in a moment as well. But let me set up the shot to show you what's going on with the chassis. I'll be right back. Okay, just to recap, I've made a change, and I'll explain what that is in a moment. This is the connection that goes to the 33 microfarad cap right there. And you'll notice I'm down to 173 volts. Well, what changed? A minute ago, I was at 185, right? Let's take a look at the meter that's connected to the chassis. All right, again, there's the chassis, and it goes to the B minus. And look what we have there. One volt DC. So what did I change? Well, I added this tuning cap, independent of the radio. It's from an old Philco. And um, basically, uh, let me move this wire so I can tune it. So basically, by doing that, I'm basically cutting out the problem. All right? And when I tune this thing, the voltages change a little bit on the chassis. And the same thing is true here. For the B+, plus at the 33 microfarad cap, by tuning it, it changes. So really what that tells me is that the tuning cap that's on this radio is not completely isolated. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I've ohmed it out. I've did a continuity test from that tuning cap. It is not connected to the chassis. <laughs> and therein lies my mystery. So it has to be an electronic problem. So let's think about this for a second. If you look at the tuning cap on the schematic, which is right here, you'll see that it connects on this on the 20-turn uh, side of the L1 and the 50-turn side of the L1, okay? And there's a 250 picofarad cap, which I've checked. It works fine. And there's a 0 0.0047 cap here, which is also good. I've checked that. But when I isolate this thing, I don't get it. I don't get a hot chassis. I have no idea what's causing that because I know it's not connected to the chassis. Right? I've used my meter, I've ohmed it out, I'm getting zero across the board, and I'm getting no continuity. So, that's my first mystery to solve. My second one, I've already solved. So, if you recall in my video yesterday, I mentioned that I was getting different voltages here and here, as I would probably be getting here. Well, that was just a simple miswire. This top of this 0 0.01 cap was not connected right here. So I basically had this cap just kind of flopping in the breeze. It was connected to the center tap, but this connection from here to here was missing. Okay, so I've got that in place now with gator wires. So that part's good. Now, the question is, does it transmit? Well, we're not quite there yet. Let's put on some songs on the MP3 player. Let's turn the radio on and see if it works. Far beyond all compare. 
Let's get a dead air station here. Frequency, I mean. Let's turn this cap. I have a piece of tape on here because there's 180 volts flowing through this thing. And I'm still not getting anything. All right, my voltages are changing. But we're not quite there yet. But we're getting close. Let's try that. Okay. So not quite there yet. Now, just to prove that this tuning cap is actually connected right, I'm going to take this meter probe. I've got this one on the B plus, B minus. I'm just going to touch the chat the uh, the tuning cap and watch the meter. Now, shouldn't I be getting like 180 volts there? You would think. I should be getting something. More than I'm getting here. Right? So something's not kosher there. So you would think by touching this tuning cap I would be getting the whole full 180 volts. If I come up here and I go to the the, the 50 side of this coil which is right here. Let's touch that. 180 volts. If I go to the 20 side 177 volts. If I go to the center tap, 170 volts. So I'm getting my voltages, I'm getting my voltages here where they should be, right? But when I go to the tuning cap, you'll see it's almost like a drain. Let's bring that all the way closed. Something's not quite right yet, so I'm going to recheck this wiring and see what else I've got wrong But we're making progress, so I still have to solve that mystery of why that tuning cap is is <laughs> Is basically throwing voltage on this chassis So if any of you have any ideas on that, I would appreciate it, but I'm going to continue checking and troubleshooting And I just wanted to put this update up for all of you that tried to help me. So thank you By the way, I did replace this tube socket I found that um, some solder on this, here's the one I took out. Uh, let's see if we can find which pin it is. It's, it's uh, right there. Some solder flowed into the actual um, pins. Well, I guess when I was soldering it, it kind of ran down right there. And uh, it flowed into there. And that's not cool, so we don't want that. So I did replace that tube socket. Let me turn the power off on this thing. Um, so um, that's basically where we are, folks. So I'm going to continue troubleshooting. I always appreciate your help, and uh, I will come back when I have an update. Thank you.